Hello everyone, welcome back to Eclectables. We are here today with a box of top 75th anniversary pop culture cards. Um, don't know really what to expect out of this box other than the fact that uh, according to the uh, panel here, four hits per box, three celebrity autographs, and uh, one authentic buyback card. I think uh, in theory this is supposed to cover uh, the 75 years that Topps has produced uh, pop culture slash non-sports type cards. Uh, so just browsing uh, through the uh, photographs on the box, you've got anywhere from uh, Tarzan to Charlie's Angels to Star Trek, E.T., uh, wacky packages, and so on. So this should be a fun box to open up uh, just for the uh, simple fact that it's going to just cover uh, pretty much any... Um, pop culture from the past 75 years. Not all inclusive of course, but uh, we should get a, a, a decent uh, selection here. So we'll go ahead and open this up and uh, see what sort of goodies we've got on the inside. Take out the packs. start breaking right here. So the uh, card designs are going to be probably a, a bit busy because you're going to go from black and white to uh, color to art. Uh, these are uh, parallels so it is a uh, just a foil version of the base card. Uh, so we lay those to the side. Here is a uh, smaller card. Um, so that, that might actually be part of the base set because, as we all know, cards did not always have the uh, same shape and size. Um, very cool uh, X-Files card. So it brings us around to uh, not necessarily present day, but a lot more present than some of these other ones. Robocop, Batman, very cool. Here's a uh, Gremlins uh, Gizmo parallel. And some of these I'm actually probably going to have to uh, give it a good once over just to make sure that I know what, uh, what they're referencing. So anywhere from it looks like Valentine's Day cards to uh, New Kids on the Block. Here's our uh, parallel to The Simpsons. Very cool. And of course Garbage Pail Kids. So this would probably be a, a walk down memory lane for many of us. I, I do remember probably of the cards that we've seen so far, about half of them, and actually having some of the original cards. Another foil. And some of these things, of course, uh, were marketed towards kids, which you probably wouldn't see anything like that marketed towards children now with uh, Freddy, but I can clearly remember going through uh, checkout lines at the grocery store and whatever packs of cards that they had you would throw them up on the conveyor belt in hopes that your parents would not see them and then you could get out with uh, one or two packs of something. There's the Mod Squad. So as far as the uh, buyback it would be really really neat to get one of, of course one of the older uh, cards in buyback fashion. And here, oh, very cool. Our first uh, autograph, which is uh, Joyce DeWitt, which was one of my favorite shows as a uh, youngster and still very, very funny show today uh, from Three's Company. So, extremely pleased with that. I'll put Joyce right there. Busters. Another one of the smaller cards. I'm sorry that I'm going through them so slow, but I'm just trying to make sure I don't overlook uh, the uh, the buyback. Okay, here's one that's got. Okay, that's probably our buyback. It does have a little uh, gold uh, embossed. 
uh, stamp on it there and that is actually from Who Framed Roger Rabbit which was uh, mid mid 80s roughly 86 87 possibly so that is our buyback card so no uh, 50s buyback for us in this box uh, but still something very cool that does mean I can move through these a little bit quicker Here we have our next autograph. This is uh, Barbara Feldon who played Agent 99 on um, Get Smart. So very cool. Put her next to Joyce DeWitt there. Alien cards, very neat. Um, really like to find some of those uh, in their original state. I think I've got like a handful. When I say handful, I'm talking about five or six of them. Indiana Jones. I clearly remember getting those. I'm showing my age, I guess, by saying which ones I can remember. And we are starting. Okay, so here we have one of the uh, the sparkles. Uh, this one is actually numbered uh, 36 out of 75. So it features Zorro. So that's a an added. Um, not necessarily a hit, but it's an added card that uh, we weren't necessarily expecting. Planet of the Apes, Superman. And this is certainly a walk down the, not only a pop culture pass, but uh, just TV and movies in general. Who would have thought that uh, Tops would have made cards for so many different properties? And of course, Elvis. But in reality, I guess Tops was the only player in the game for so many years, so it only made sense. Buffalo Bill and Turtles. Very cool. Three D uh, Tarzan card there. And actually I think I have the original Iron Man like that, so that it's kind of neat. Alright. Moving down the home stretch. Wager to guess that there's probably a full uh, base card set uh, in here because I think it's a 100 card uh, base set. And a quick uh, math lets me know that there are more than 100 cards uh, in the box. down to the uh, to be final four packs. So if the uh, box and stated uh, odds are correct, we should be coming up on our third and final autograph. And there it is. Uh, this from the television show American Gladiators, uh, Jim Starr, who was the character of Laser um, during the uh, run? It says he played Laser. I played. I don't know if that's the correct word, uh, but he was Laser from 1990 to 1996. So that's our third and final autograph. We'll just go through the motions of the final two packs quickly, just to make sure we don't have any additional. Uh, hidden gems. Last one. 
last pack. All right. Oh, actually, look at that. We do have another buyback card. It was about to pass through. It's a uh, Three's Company uh, buyback card. It's actually a sticker. Um, so that's a uh, very interesting. We do have the top 75th anniversary stamp logo there. This is from 1978. Uh, so not only one buyback, but two buybacks in that box. So to recap it really quick, we've got our stack of gold foil parallels here. Uh, we've got our one um, crystal parallel, possibly is what those are, are called. They're numbered out of 75. We have our laser, our Agent 99, and our Janet or Joyce DeWitt autograph cards over so we can see them a little bit better and not one but two uh, buybacks a threes company and a who framed roger rabbit uh, if you like this video give us a thumbs up and thank you for watching bye